Hi, I'm Elaine from the Main Library, and I'm today going to show you how to do these canvas bags. This is what they're supposed to look like if you want to do it this way, or you can paint anything you want on these bags. But this is what they look like in the finished product if you want to do it this way. Okay. So you're going to get a bag. It's called Grab and Go. Inside are you're going to be your instructions. And I'm going to go through it with you, but it's pretty simple. And I showed again, those, those are the bags that you can do with the painter's tape. The painter's tape is going to be wrapped around this pencil right here. So even if you don't want to do it that way, you can take the tape off and you'll still have a very cool pencil. Anyway, so here's the painter's tape and here's the bag. If you have an iron or you're not afraid of ironing, go ahead and iron your bag to make it really, really flat. And what you're going to want to do is put a piece of cardboard inside so it makes it really, really flat and so the paint won't go through. So get just any piece of cardboard or any piece of thick paper, poster board, anything you've got. Something really, really flat. It doesn't have to be as big as the bag because you're probably not going to paint all the way to the sides. You can if you like. Okay. So if you want to do it the way I just, oh, in the bag also, of course you'll need the paint and a brush. I gave you three, uh, three colors, which are red, yellow, blue. So with the primary colors, you can make orange, as you know how. Or you, can, or you can make green or any other color you want to mix or purple or any of those. So I gave you the three primaries. Now on the bag you can paint absolutely anything you want. What I usually do is paint some sort of a scene, a summer scene if you're very creative. Um, I just put like water in the background, sand on the bottom, uh, a sand dune over here, and then I make a palm tree. And then with the blue, I make like clouds and then make a sun. And it just makes a really good summer scene. I don't want to waste a bag because I want you guys to have all the bags. So what I'm going to show you today, rather than paint something of my own, is how to use the painter's tape. So this is the one we want it to look like. Or any way you want to do it. So you just unwrap. I gave you some Q-tips too if you want to stir the paint. Those will be in there. Okay, so just get some painter's tape. I'll just use this one. And you just stripe it or square it off or make triangles, anything they want to do, anything you want to do like they did, or anything you want to do. Or you could even do your initials. If you want to paint your initials, you can. Or you could even, like, how easy is that? And then you would just stripe it, though, so you're not going to paint over the tape, obviously. But the tape is going to keep it from being very, very straight if you decide to do this with your initials. So let's say it's A. Do it like that. You're going to have to experiment with it to make sure that, you know, you got the tape right. And then when you get to this part, you tear it off or use scissors, either one. I'm just trying to go fast. And then you'll come on down. And then put another piece here, and you've got your A. Uh, a would be harder than maybe E or any other, any other letter. So you can do your initials. I've seen it done with stripes, triangles, anything you like. Or, and I've also seen like what's really easy, like is if you have like a piece of paper and crumble it all up, sponge paint it, all different colors. Just sponge paint. And then when you get up here, you can even do after it dries, then you can do uh, all across the handles. You can do all across there. And you can all, even go all across uh, around the sides. So just personalize it any way you like for the summer. And have a great summer using it. Thanks for watching.